Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here, bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. In today's video, I'm going to unlock the Aether Blade schematic. I do have the dog bone and golden armor plates unlocked already, but did not go for the final contract and get the Aether Blade when I was in the Dark Aether uh, using the Elder Sigil. And I'm bringing up in some saved up goodies here that I have. Uh, I've been saving this legendary Aether tool uh for this run knowing i was gonna eventually go for the aether blade and then i've also got some perks that i kind of like having from the start we'll try and get a uh, jug and stamina up before i go to the dark aether i think those are also really important but these ones i kind of like as a base start so uh we'll see how the game goes so let's jump right into it Okay, so let's equip everything here. Uh, and I'm gonna save the dog bone though. I'm gonna save the dog bone until I'm about runny, ready, <laughs> runny, ready to go into the dark aether. Uh, Cause I have no idea and I don't wanna test right now if, um, like if the dog loses health while I'm here and then go into the dark aether is the health gonna regen like you know plates and equipment and all that stuff does for me so i'm not gonna test that out right now unless my backpack gets full and i need to call them in and i'm essentially gonna try and do the same strategy i'm gonna try to just get as many pulley grenades as possible two more self revives and then uh go in there Mimic on me too. Oh boy. Well, this is a terrible start for me. <laughs> Okay, let's just head up there. I know I can defeat this without needing a self-revive, and I'll get a self-revive from the... Uh, what's it called? The Rift. Whoa, hello. Oh, gosh. Maybe this bike won't be great up here. Whoop. Oh boy. A little close. A little too close for my comfort. Considering I don't have self revive. Okay, so let's get down here and get this self revive quick. I'll just do that for now. I'd prefer brain rot, but. Can't really. Beggars can't be choosers. Hey, maybe I can. So one thing I learned about the Dark Aether and the schematics, uh, I was under the impression that the schematics were tied to whatever contract you completed. So if you complete the escort contract, that was the Aether Blade. And if you completed the... Um, the extraction contract that was dog bone, you know, kind of so on. Like, they were tied to the contract. But what I found out is they are tied to the order in which you complete the contract. So, completing the first contract, regardless of which one it is, will give you the dog bone. And whatever the second contract you complete will give you the uh, golden armor plates. And then the third one will be the aether blade. So before when I went in, yeah, I completed the first contract, which was the Aether Extraction. And then I did the Outlast because I really could only do those two. I thought the Escort was impossible solo. Um, but now that I kind of know how to do it, I can complete the third, hopefully, to get the Aether Blade. Monitoring 
while it works. Okay, I feel like if you stand like right here, all the enemies that come up the staircase come this way. They don't run around the left. And all you have to do is then kind of look out to the right. Oh, it's throwing stuff at me. But uh, I think you only have to look these two ways. I believe so far in my testing, that has been the case. call it and then I can call in a new one. I got you. Oh, someone else is picking them up. Okay. Well, let me go uh, check this out. Please have a pulley. Nope. Oh, I'll take that sentry gun, though. Forgot I need that. Got him. I'm not perfect. That was the last one that I really wanted. And their survival rate. Eh, don't need any of that right now. Okay, another contract. See the spore control again. Okay, so let me think here. So realistically, I could potentially do it in six. So six at five is 30,000, okay. Then I'll have enough to pack a punch. But I do want to try and get more than six pulley grenades, only because I feel like the tier five through the Elder Sigil is gonna be way more challenging. So I'll probably need more than what I was using before. It. Let me back up a little here. Okay, I can keep doing more. I still have time. But let me, because that will take me back to uh, the beginning. So let me do this. One, two. All right? Yeah. So I'm at three, four, five, six. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna save it because I wanna go pack a punch first. I have the bare minimum amount that I need to try and complete this. And so we'll go finish this contract. Well, I'll pack a punch when I get there, uh, finish this contract and then come back and buy more. Shoot. I don't want to hold on to that. I rarely run into him. So let me call in the dog. And actually, it'll be a good test because I know it'll lose some health out here. Um, and when I get into the Dark Aether, I can check to see if its health is regained. So I'm going to the buy station now. I'm going to buy the last round of things. I want to buy more pulley grenades. Oh boy. Not what I was wanting right now. It was a mega abomination. Uh, let's see if I can just buy these really quick. Okay, one, two. Uh. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Perfect. All right. 
let's see if we can do this. First attempt here, we'll see how many attempts it takes. Okay, how's your health, bud? You good? Oh, that's right, Flouncy. Okay, um, so since this now kind of relies on getting all three done, and I know the escort is going to be the hardest one, I'm going to go for that first. I'm going to try and do the escort contract first, because if I fail that, I ultimately fail this whole thing. Now, granted, I'll probably end up doing the other ones um, just to kind of... Oh, hello. Uh, maybe do, like, regain as far as items go. But uh, I ultimately want to get all the schematics. Well, really, the Aether Blade. But in doing so, I would get all of them. Oh god, I'm terrible at aiming. Okay, so let's start this now. Okay, so same strategy. I'm really gonna focus just on the uh, backside of this. Um, as much as I can. Oh, that's fantastic. I do know, yeah, manglers, their shots will hurt the ACV, so I do also want to be cognizant of that, of any of them in front. But everything else should be destroyed by the ACV. Good, moving. Oh my goodness, I have no ammo. Oh boy, oh boy. need ammo. <laughs> this is going to fail if I don't have ammo. Plate. Gotcha. Ammo, 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 no ammo. All right. Well, this could be a fail. <laughs> Equipment. Plates. <laughs> Nothing I need. Good, it's moving now. Still holding fairly strong. Mega bomb coming up behind me. I'm okay with that. <laughs> For now. Nice. ammo I need that but I don't want it to stop okay yeah keep moving 
Oh god, I got two megas coming up behind me. This is gonna be tough. I can't believe it. Okay, let me go grab this next contract. It should be right here. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay. Because I am running low on time. Oh, the reward rift. I'm dumb. Oh, bye. Bye. Yep, just running past you. Don't worry about me. On another one, let's just take that. Got all that stuff. Okay, next contract started. So let's get this done. Got it. So I've learned this strategy, throw it up there. And that should pull all the zombies off. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, there's no zombies here. All right. I'll take it. It's perfect because I am running out of time. So that. So that. Don't need any of that. On to the last contract. Oh my gosh. Am I going to do this? Do I have enough time? Five minutes? I have no idea how long an outlast takes. There's no way it's five minutes, right? Yeah. I'm so nervous. And I don't hear my dog. Did my dog die again? I have a spare dog bone in my stash, so I'd rather get all the help I can get to get me through this contract now. Uh, then hold on to it. And I have the schematic already, and again, so I can always just craft if needed. That was kind of a waste of that one. Got my energy mine back. I'll probably be good to call in once I get the rift for this, which is almost. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me stow that as well. And get out of here. Forget how to get out of here. <laughs> oh man, that was intense. I was holding my breath. 
I could barely speak because I just didn't want to screw up. Okay, and let me make sure. Hello, zombie. Aetherblade, plans, plans, plans. Oh my goodness. I don't want to accidentally have screwed up. Got to check again. Really got to double check. Plans, plans. Well, alrighty. That was intense. I mean, it was for me at least. Uh, that was pretty hard, in my opinion, uh, as a solo. Uh, I do think that poly grenade strat is perfect for that escort contract. And I do think having the extra ones that I went and got before going in there definitely did help. Might have been a lot closer had I not had those two. Like, you know, the ACV could have gone down to like a percent health. But who knows? Glad I had them. Uh, of course, the legendary PAP3 Akimbo tiers definitely had a big part in that as well. These things are just beasts. But it feels fantastic to finally have the Aether Blade unlocked. Because uh, I do feel like this is the best lethal equipment in the game currently. It's just a bummer that there is such a huge cooldown uh, to craft this. And yeah, you could just go back into the Dark Aether, even with just a sigil, and try and get one. You know, kind of farm them that way, but a little bit of a hassle. I just wish it was a little easier, so... But I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Till the next one, peace.